Amazon has released their most capable model ever. This video shows how to configure it and use it for various tasks. I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This new model from Amazon is geared towards to be acted as a teacher model, but it means that you can use this model to train other smaller model. This model will act as a teacher model and the smaller models will be the student model which will inherit the reflection of this model. So you would have optimized AI models for production ready tasks because this model is a task oriented model. This model has got 1 million token context length which is huge. This is a multimodal model and it can process text, images and video excluding audio by the way. The extensive context window makes it suitable for applications requiring the analysis of very long documents or large scale code bases. They also have shared lot of benchmarks. For instance, if you look here, Nova Premier has demonstrated top tier performance across all these 17 benchmarks, outperforming other Nova models such as Nova Lite and Nova Pro, which we already have covered on the channel in great detail. So if you're interested, check it out especially look at this nova sonic i'm sure you are going to like it now this model is not an open source open weight model you can only use it through hosted service like amazon bedrock or through amazon SageMaker, which is aws clouds machine learning service and you can also access it through your api calls and that is where i'm going to show you how you can use it by installing all the prerequisite also in order to use it you would need to have access to an aws account which you can easily create for free if you are just starting out for your educational purposes just go to aws.amazon.com and then sign up with your free email and then get your free aws account that is what i have done also, this model is only available in select few AWS regions at the moment. I will be using it in US East 1, which I believe is their Virginia region. Integration with Amazon Bedrock allows straightforward access and deployment of this model. There are a few things which I, I really don't, I would say, like about this model, which I will be mentioning as we go towards it. So let's get it configured and installed and we will see how to use it before that i also want to give a huge thanks to our good friends at igentbot who are sponsoring the video igentbot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description so this is my Ubuntu system which I'm using courtesy Mast Compute. I would suggest that you install all of these prerequisites in the upgrade format like Porto 3 which is AWS SDK and then SDK Bedrock Runtime and then few other libraries as shown here. So that is done and by the way if you don't know what Bedrock is just go to my channel and then it just search for bedrock course i have done a complete end-to-end -end course on bedrock which will make you a hero in bedrock from zero if you have never heard of it it's pretty good service if you are looking for aws oriented uh, api based hosted models okay so our all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen another thing you would need to do here because it's an aws hosted model you would need an access to aws cloud and then you would need to set your AWS CLI uh, or AWS credentials for Boto3. For that, you would need to install your AWS um, credentials, which you can check out on in that Bedrock course. So I already have access to my personal AWS account. I already have set my credentials, uh, which is simply setting up my access key and secret access in AWS, which you get from their account from your IAM. I'm sorry, I can't really go further into the AWS related things. For that, I would highly suggest you go to that uh, video which I just showed you. So provided I already have that uh, configured. Before I show you how to use this model, there is one more last thing you need to do. You need to log into your AWS account, go to Amazon Bedrock, and then in the model access, make sure that you have uh, request the access to this model. So requesting the access is free, but you have to do it in US East 1 region and then you will get this 
access granted um, status here which you, it means that now you can use this model okay so i already have uh, my access let me take you to my vs code this is how you use this model you first import these libraries you set your region make sure you set your model id to this nova premiere you instantiate your bedrock client and then just ask it any question for example i'm asking it to explain the difference between vector databases and all that stuff whatever prompt you want to use you can use and then from there you can converse with the model model will return the response and you can print it out this is how easy it is but this is an api based model so whatever api calls you are making there is a cost associated with it for the cost you can go to aws website and check the cost it depends upon the token and all that stuff it also varies from region to region and it also varies from model to model so please make sure that you uh, are aware of the cost because this can blow you know out very soon so in order to avoid your bill shock make sure you are aware of it okay so let's go back and let me run this app.py from this so it is running at the moment and there you go it has returned me the response and the response is quite structured i would say you see that it has given me a structured response so in my eyes if you are looking to generate a synthetic data set from a teacher model this could be a very good choice and by the way amazon bedrock has another option where you can distill the model which means you can glean the information from these teacher models and train your student models anyway but that is um, a topic for another video but you see not only the response is quite grounded and nuanced it is quite focused and of very very high quality as you can see that the language coherence is there and this is just a simple response but as i said it's a 1 million context window model you can generate it be aware of the cost so not only you can do it with the text but you can also do it with images and video and that is where i have some problem the problem is you cannot really talk to your local images or videos you have to first upload those images or uh, videos to amazon s3 bucket which is a object store and from there you can start running it so you see that i already have my bucket i already have this um, image maybe i'll go with the multi one just to check out its multilinguality and i will show you my image too shortly so i'm just going to do the ocr on this image and then i will be extracting it okay and similarly i'm not going to go the video one but same thing you can do just give it the pass to your video and then ask it what is happening in this video it is going to return it so as long as your file is in your repo in your sorry s3 bucket it should work so let me do this ocr one from this image but first let me show you the image so this is the image which i'm going to do the ocr as you can see that this not only contains some english words but also from other languages like hindi arabic some german and russian and few other languages so let's run this and i'm just asking you to extract the text there you go how quick that is so you see it is if i compare it with this image i'll just scroll make it down so visually speaking i think it is quite good i'm not sure if there is a slight space here but i'm not sure if it is right or wrong so if you are that language speaker please let me know but other than that looks pretty good in terms of multilinguality but english was here it is pretty good i would say in the next example let's do a quick table analysis so i'm just giving it this table and i'm going to ask it as which model has so second lowest download size so if you look at this table this is the second last one has the second um, lowest download size in this column so let's see if it can read the table and extract the data from those tables so i'm just going to run this image.py there you go so it says the model with the second lowest download size is moon dream this with the download size of this which is spot on now as i mentioned earlier one of the most uh, prominent use cases uh, of this model which i could think of is synthetic data generation or distillation so let's convert this table which i just showed you into json l format which is a very common format for data set rows so i'm going to say um, convert 
the table in this image to json l format so let's run it so i'm just going to run that again wow there you go so if you compare it with this so the model is this precision is this so it has converted it in json format with key value pairs and you can easily create your data set with these models but again be aware of the cost so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching